What are the best TV shows to binge watch? Alone. It's a reality show about people that are surviving completely alone in the wilderness with limited gear and resources and are trying to see who is capable of staying there the longest they are filming themselves. Community. The Good Place. Arrested Development. Dark. It's a German series that will melt your brain. So damn good. Shameless. Dexter. Scandal. Six Feet Under. Brooklyn 99. The Leftovers. Breaking Bad. The Last Kingdom. Toast of London. Red vs Blue is a classic show if you want a good comedy series. Suits. Simpsons. The Nanny. Parks and Recreation. The Boys. Falling Skies is my favorite show I've ever watched. About an alien invasion and the main character of this family named the Masons. They fight aliens and band with other people to try to survive. Genuinely one of the most underrated shows on earth. Handmaid's Tale. Only murders in the building. Our flag means death. What we do in the shadows. Ghosts. Original UK version. Outlander. Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Sons of Anarchy. Chernobyl. The first few seasons of Silicon Valley are a dream for binge watchers. Not only are the episodes short. The seasons are two and you become a hardcore fan literally overnight. Taskmaster. New series starts Thursday, so be good to watch the 13 previous series beforehand. Modern Family. MASH. Breaking Bad Better Call Saul. If you love blood and badasses, Primal. Boston Legal. Sherlock HTTPS. En.m.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash Sherlock underscore TV underscore series. The Irregulars, HTTPS. En.m.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash the underscore Irregulars. The Alienist, HTTPS. En.m.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash the underscore alienist underscore TV underscore series. Penny Dreadful HTTPS. En.m.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash penny underscore dreadful underscore TV underscore series. Broadchurch HTTPS. En.m.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash broadchurch. Victory Hand Light Skin Tone. A mini series. Multiple seasons goes beyond a binge session. My Big Fat Fab Life. Er. Uh, so great binged. Person of interest about a supercomputer built to stop terrorist acts. But also knows when regular people are in danger. Five seasons. Weaves the weekly. Got to stop something bad from happening with character. Development in the form of overarching storylines about how the machine was made. The backstories of the different characters. By the end of season one all the protagonist and villains are in place and the series continues to explore the pros and cons of surveillance systems and AI. Also they wrote the series to completion so the series has a real ending. The Good Place. It's always sunny in Philadelphia, Lucifer, Community, Solar Opposites, Rick and Morty. Top Gear UK. Clarkson Era. The Grand Tour. Modern Family. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. The Office. US. House MD. My Name is Earl. The Crown. Beats every other option out the water. It has amazing script writing. Not flawless. Just adequate enough that it works well with decent direction and fantastic acting performances. Quintessential drama. Has no trace of campiness. When it does do humor. It does it with panache. Justified. So good. Bosch. Awesome. Ted Lasso. 
could not understand why my dad thought I would like it. Watched it and loved it. The Five. A Harlan Coburn miniseries. The Split. Battlestar Galactica. 2004-09. I watched the entire series in maybe a week. Excellent series. I regret not watching it when it first aired. Everyone complains about the ending. But in a strange way it all kind of made sense. I was just about crying by the last episode. Game of Thrones. I've never binged on anything to that level. No other show I've watched has such a consistent drive to find out what happens next. Blue Mountain State. I took that series out in like four days. Totally worth it. Steven Universe. The first five or six episodes are really fucking weird. But there is a pretty damn good story throughout the rest of the series. Avatar The Last Airbender. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Peaky Fukan Blinders. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Friends. Grey's Anatomy. Currently binging. The Sopranos. Big Bang Theory. RuPaul's Drag Race. Very specific niche, but it's basically a mashup of Project Runway and America's Next Top Model but for drag queens. It's really funny and campy and endlessly entertaining. I'd just suggest not starting with season one cause it's low budget as hell.